What's up guys? This is the Roveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Italian States. So to pick up where we left off, we're going to attack St. Augustine, because if we don't and we destroy the Indian faction, we'll get teleported out. All of these troops will be teleported up north and it'll just be a massive waste of time. So what we're going to do is we're going to take Florida and we're going to... Well, we're going to need to use our quick climbing hearts as quite uh, a lot, because the, the main thing is that we have a lot of chaff, which will take a long time to break through. So we need to clear them out as effectively as possible. So let's attack. It's one turn till the town surrenders, but if we don't, um, if we let them sally next turn, then it will be, well, we don't want there to be a next turn because in one turn we can potentially wipe out the native Mughal faction, which will really make our campaign um, canter along quite nicely to the late stage. Well, it's already late stage, really. Uh, but once we've got rid of the Mughal Empire, continental, the continental United States will revert to a mixture of pirate states, native territories, the United States. So we'll actually be able to blitz through the remaining um, empires pretty easily because we have a ludicrous amount of firepower. It's taking a bit of time for this scenario to load, for the game to load, maybe because there's so many extra armies okay so I think I like over here more so deploy our guns deploy our howitzers let's take four units to go through the front Take five units to go around the flank. It's got a heavy cavalry to go in with them. The light cavalry will be better placed to exploit gaps at the front, I think. General in the centre. Let's get ready to f get ready to fire my howitzers. Oh, look at that! Right there, please. Shots away. All that cavalry sat right here. Too bad we're getting sound shenanigans. So let's pick so our artillery. Make a hole here. I'm curious. Sometimes... No, it didn't do anything. I really don't know why it does that. I think it must, sometimes it just kind of struggles to... Well, I don't, you know what? I'm not even going to try and expl explain why it does that. I don't know. So we're going to speed up time a little bit just because... Wait a minute. Are our gunners even firing? Sometimes the sound bugs can be unfortunate because I can't even really be sure if they're uh, if they're actually doing what I want them to do. So I'm going to actually get my howitzers to focus on some of these other units. Yeah, we're being engaged on the hill. Let's use our artillery to make a series of breaches. We keep one set of guns attacking the center to keep clearing out this block. Because the thing is with city, with um, city battles like this is it's all about holding men up. At times you need to be quick. Yeah, they, all, all those shots misfired. But part of the problem is when you're fighting so many chaff units, they really, really slow you down and pick away at you. So it's the idea that it's not so bad having. It's not so bad having um, units like militia and stuff when you're on the defence because they're actually not that terrible when it comes to the, def to the defensive action. But again, let's speed up time. Let's actually pick one gun that's going to continue. Ooh. Well, I suppose they should really be firing round shot on the centre. But let's ungroup them so I'm, I'm aware which one that is. But yeah, that's a lot of... Even though they're not very good troops, that's still a lot of troops. 
so what I'm tempted to do is bring up three units here because we have no mortars to worry about bring three units up to cover the gatehouse in the event that they attempt to push men out and use our volleys to clear them out I mean this this unit's going to take some serious attrition they look hovering bodies <laughs> bit funky Well, again, let's speed up time, because right now we are just waiting for... Again, I th I'm pretty sure... See, this is... Yeah, like... So now, even though I gave them... Orders, because I don't have that... Audio... Choom, feedback, I can't be sure if they actually, they've actually taken it on board. The bo Yeah, this is the, the issue with Bowman is that they'll be... Quick to route... Quick to route at full strength, but slow to route when when you really need them to. Let's focus on this corner section too. Really doesn't want to attack that section. You lock, cease fire at will. You men scale the wall. You men scale the wall here. Let's take a unit of cuirassier and go right. Let's take just two, let's take both of them and go right. I'd like this unit to climb the wall and run around and capture and hold some gatehouses. It's these cavalrymen they're gonna take a long time to hack through. There's just so damn many of them. So much so I'm going to group, to be honest I can't have a group of one. Let's group two units together with round shot to keep dropping shells on the enemy there. Let's keep one unit dropping quick lime on the enemy, defending the breaches. Let's push our men onto the right. Where's my light dragoons? Fire wheel off, push up. Hussars push up. What are you routing? You've lost 25 men. What's your game? They'll come back, but... They're concerned because they're under artillery attack. What, from here? Yeah. They're the same. Why are you upset? Oh, you're fire... Oh, okay. You're being engaged from the... The bowmen. I'm not quite sure what their deal is. Charge the native musketman auxiliary. Yeah, they come back. Well, they should come back. They've really not lost that many men. I mean, these chaps fire at will as well. I mean, if they route route, I will be really surprised, but the frustrating thing is how far they're going to go prior to routing. This unit might be a bit screwed then, because native musketmen auxiliary might be skirmishers, but they're still native troops. They are still... They aren't terrible. Let's push our front line up. Light dragoons, fire it will on. So engage the bowmen there with... Musket fire, although that unit's actually really spread out. So we had to give them a specific order to shoot that unit of Bowmans, it looks like. Yeah, I knew it. I knew you'd come back. Cavalry's charging us. I need to clear out some of these bow units. So these two of these units that were attacking the centre. Well, to be honest, this might end up becoming a bit of a slugfest because we've got so much 
garbage here. Let's bring the heavy cavalry over. Let's help defeat these horsemen a bit quicker. So it looks like they do just want to sit there and shoot at us and skirmish us, but really, can you men scale the wall? Get the heavy cavalry in, you two cease fire. New men cease fire. So these men start to scale the wall, please. Help out that regiment of foot that's a bit upset. Send two units in. Hello, we have infantry outside the wall. That sounds like a pig tipping over. So let's push up in support of the centre. Rely on our light dragoons, clearing out that unit of bowmen. We've got a unit of hussars ready. Pick new targets, and I think I want to lay a quick climb carpet across the centre. So you men beat the native musketman auxiliary. You men charge that unit of bows. You men advance up to the gatehouse. If we can knock out... Well, I think we can. So let's take this weakened unit. Get them to fall back and secure that far gatehouse. New men cease fire and charge. New men fire it all off. Bowmen have been defeated. So let's hope they don't do something stupid like run down here and across. Hopefully they stay on the wall. So sometimes you have to be a bit incremental with how you give orders. You men fire it will on and hopefully you'll engage the horsemen. <laughs> Drop this front central unit into square. Nope. Okay, we're causing their cavalry to commit. Which is a good thing. Engage the horsemen in the centre. Actually, to be honest, let's just switch to round shot and begin to attack units further to the rear. Our, how our field artillery withdraw. So we've taken this gatehouse. Charge two units in. Let's take a regiment of line infantry and advance them in. Let's take you guys. Secure this gatehouse because there's a chance. Well, I don't know where the enemy will join the fight. So you're trying to break your way through this central position. But if you take this gatehouse, that'll bring another heavy cavalry unit in to smash into the bowmen. There we go, that's it. Let's get them in. Let's bring our dragoons back. Fighting against the horsemen, so we have to charge. We're going to have to kill that native musketman unit, otherwise they will potentially recapture the gate once we leave. So we are holding. Push up our general. Fortunately though, now we've captured all the gatehouses, it'll be much more difficult for them to... Will it be much more difficult for them to get in? Okay, I think we've... Yeah, there we go. We've taken this entrance. Pour in. Ceasefire. The artillery. Not sure where the reinforcement's going to come in from, but send our units that are on the wall... Well, position them, strategically position them on a few 
separate sections of wall. You men get in, heavy cavalry get in, line infantry get in. We've got our breach, our hussars are hacking their way through the bowmen. Ooh, hello. Let's get up here. Aha! Enemy reinforcements. So let's wheel an infantry unit left. You men charge into the back of the levee. I'm not quite sure why you're routing. Was it just bow fire from the skirmish cavalry? Okay, that... Oh, there's one left, that's why. That heavy cavalry should... Re should um, come back. Send a unit of line infantry up again to secure the wall. So you men have the honour of defending the wall. These guys are going to retreat, try and see if we can bring in more troops. Yeah, heavy cavalry's back, as I knew they would be. You men get over here to try and cover the walls. I don't mind if they get involved in combat on the way. But just get over here. Get my other cavalry in against the bows here. Because this is likely to take a bit of doing. They're trying to knock, knock another entrance into the fort. Okay, you men killed an enemy general. This regiment of foot forms square. Because the bodyguard's on his way. And he is livid. Get up there, take position on the wall. I don't think they're going to be able to stop us now. I think the the mass is on our side. So even if they withstand us... Form square, sir. We'd kill the last of these bowmen. And then we're going to form... take these two units here form a new defensive line light dragoons heavy cavalry curacy air then my light dragoons hold the square hold the center so you then fire it well off reorientate yourself and then no they're starting to bug out Okay, let's get my general in. Let's get a cavalry unit over to the other to the other um, breach. Get in here, general. Got to run my heavy cavalry out to intercept the enemy. There we go. The heavy cavalry will. Their job is to buy time. All my generals have shown up. Nope. No, general. You men cease fire. I think we're going to be okay. The mass is on our side now. The general's bodyguard I will not... I will not shy away from throwing him into the mix if we need to. Let's bring the cavalry in. We have a unit routing, but we hold the gate, so if we just push one unit away from the gate, another unit just attack. There we go. The city is ours. There's not a thing they can do about it. 
you know, you men would fire at will and pour fire into the enemy, but there is no need to hold off their hordes because victory is ours. There we go. Because they had so many troops in to reinforce them, the fact that we took the city quickly and cleanly means that their forces are just devastated. Back you go. This Florida is taken. Ricardo Lazare's force is badly damaged. But let's hop back over to India. So, we've got Nagpur under siege, Akbaraban under, under siege, Ujjain under siege. Udaipur is not under siege. Who is within range? Nobody, I fear. But... No, very damaged, so it would be very risky. Yeah, too risky for me. Especially as, as that's an action that resolves itself in a turn. But we can just go... Whoop. We haven't got to worry about these chaps. We are going to fight the actions to take Nagpur, Ujjain and Akbarabad. And then all forces converge on Udaipur. So, Ernesto Defendi, you've been with us for an awful long time now, haven't you? Yeah, 61. Plus one to command in land. Oh, he's just great. Soaked in Clara. Yeah, he certainly is at this point. Let's attack Nagpur and capture another Mughal settlement. It will be another step towards the end of their little empire. And it will be the destruction of our last... The last comparable power, the last main obstacle to world conquest. Because up till, well, I suppose left over, there's New Spain, but New Spain's never really that much to worry about. Yeah, we can, we can do what we like. So form the guns, form the line. This is a very experienced army they're facing. Let's anchor ourselves against the town on the right flank. Drop some cavalry on the left. Put our hussars. They're a bit more mobile nearer the town. Which makes no sense but I'm sticking with it. Some incredibly experienced artillery here. So the artillery... Well you hit that garrison musketman unit. You go after that unit of Hindu musketeers. My artillery is going to engage their mortars. But it looks like we might actually be out of range. Not as far as the... Oh no, there we go. No, they've... They realise what's going on. So who are they aiming at? Hussars? I mean, I'll take that. First of all, our marines, including the... First foot guard, the second foot guard, and a third foot guard. Two man on the right flank. But they're a very weak unit of two man. So they'll take a volley from the 40th. Form square. 39th also fired. Yeah, they have. Abandon their position, so re return to the return to line and reload. So the Howard has hit the Hindu musketeers and also hit yeah, that unit of dervishes. So who are they? Native lancers. They're not a risk. Then now they've changed targets. Looks like they're going after some of my marines. So push up my cavalry on the left. Let's retarget some of my guns. Not in much point in making them attack. Oh, we killed a bunch of their elephant musketeers by accident. We knocked out two of their gun teams. But the third foot guard is being punished mercilessly. But I think, because they are being a bit silly, we're going to have an opportunity here 
to send a, a brave cavalry unit forward. To attack their guns. The dervishes are out wide. I mean, they've already lost a nice chunk of them there. Yep, some of our men may get engaged. But they're, they're going to leave their hearts as exposed. Don't worry. Oh, it's the 2nd Foot Guards now being engaged. Or the 13th Regiment. It's not enough men to lose to make it worth not charging on heroically. There are you. Native Lancer unit, they're sucking up a bunch of fire. Yes, they're shattered. Okay, there's the mass push on the right. Oh, well, on their right, our left is actually pretty okay. And the battle has been joined. The mortars that could really have screwed things up for us have been dealt with. Get the heavy cavalry against the firelock arm populace. There are dervishes that could cause us some issues if we let them charge us and don't charge them first. At least the general's bodyguards marching up with them. But our lads are too well drilled to be too intimidated by that sort of manoeuvre. Native lances have charged us, but make sure we continue to attack their artillery. Yeah, the general's bodyguard joined his men at the front, but that was not the wisest decision. Oh, we might actually die to the lance charge. As long as we don't cave. Actually, let's make sure I've retargeted my howitzers. Don't worry about the lancers. Go after the gunners. The line... Ooh, a danger. Close shot there. You men all focus on that unit of Hindu. Actually, focus on that general's bodyguard unit because he just killed a... A bunch of my marines charging against them there. Got some levy coming in. To be honest, that's probably the bad move to get bogged down in a melee combat there. Ooh. Try getting my regiment of horse out. It's a shame my heavy cavalry getting bogged down by the Farlock on populace, but I did send them to attack them, so... Okay, let's send these two units forward to help support my cavalry that's looking isolated. Use this unit to flank around. We'll start curling the flank up. So we can take these two units and go like so. Take these two units and go like so. I can't engage that far with quick climb. Yeah, that Hindu musketeer units had to redeploy to face off against our marines and line, so we forced their hand somewhat. These dervishes are upset at the resulting redeployment of my line, like so. The Hindu musketeers are routed, so let's flee. Push up into the flank of the Hindu musketeers. The 50th Dakil is falling back. Well, they're, actually, no, they're advancing, not falling back. You slam into them. Their cavalry is trying to chase down ours. Alright. 
charge them down a little bit. And then charge into the lances. She looks like the Hindu musketeers to the rear have actually started to maneuver. Charge of the Hindu musketeers in the rear with my heavy cavalry. The dervishes have been seen off. You men can redeploy. Form the line, or reform the line. Where's my hussars? Call them back. The armed populace have routed. Well, they've come back, sorry. The Hindu musketeers are going down rapidly. As soon as they break, there we go. Advance. Heavy cavalry pursue. General's bodyguard and the levy have routed to pivot my line. Strike through the centre with my hussars. Some reinforcements. It's Nino, Nino Boscovich. Bring him over here to harry the remaining escaping troops. Our artillery can cease fire. My heavy cavalry can hit the general's bodyguard. Okay, let's pivot like so. How it says try hit the levy with quicklime, it will be a bit risky. Well, not for this unit, because they're at a perfect angle. Well, not entirely perfect, but it's perfect enough. Oh, that worked very well. Ceasefire. I brought Nino over here, but didn't give him any actual orders. General's bodyguard is going down. Continue to engage. There we go. The general has been taken out. I think that's the end of this army. Yeah, there's a Hindu musketeer unit, but they are not going to be very keen to stay in the position they're in. Train every gun we've got on them. And again, they would rather chase after my cavalry. So I have to just run my line after them to make them realise they can't just go... No, we aren't going to fight you. Well, at least Nino got some excitement out of it. I engage them with musket fire. They think they can match us toe to toe. But to show them they're wrong. Not just with our own individual skill, but with overwhelming firepower. 39th. Oh. Poor, poor 39th. Nope. There they go. There they go indeed. So that's one action done. And there's still Berra and Akbarabad. Lojane and Akbarabad. Ernesto, replenish. Let's rebuild all those things that we burnt down. Roads are good, mines are good. Okay, it's just those two things. Let's take Mr. Venturi and attack Eugene with that ragtag force. <laughs> then we can hit in turn. Well, not, well, not now, obviously, after we fought against Alec Barabad. Hit end turn. Well, ideally, if during the end turn phase we are not engaged, I will fight the last action so we can end in this episode with the, the Indian faction being destroyed. 
and the beginning of a new section of this campaign. But because we know that the garrison here is pretty weak, and this is my army with buckets of skirmishes. Put my skirmishes together, my Albanians on the left, my Swiss Jaeger on the right, the Albanians get the heavy cavalry, the Swiss cavalry get the colonial dragoons, just regular dragoons actually. Howitzers deploy to the rear, dropping quick climb. Well, no secrets for where they what they're gonna shoot at. At least they're going to aim at the mortars. Yeah, you can do some damage, but it's not going to be half as bad as what we're doing. I mean, we've killed nearly half your gun crews and destroyed a handful of your guys and destroyed one of your precious, precious guns. So our actual line... Probably going to want to be more like this. Yeah, you can quick climb us as much as you like. Just know that we're on our way. Give the artillery new targets. I mean, these ones, these guys are a bit in a bit of a tricky spot. Yeah, the 69th. <laughs> 69th got smashed. Oh, the irony. Here comes the 155th. Swiss line infantry at that. Get the Swiss Mountain Jaeger in here. And you guys can't really shoot because there's a bunch of buildings in the way. Albanians stay hidden. Hindu warriors on the left flank. Uh oh. Melee charge city. You guys have a good. Oh yeah, with your pew pew pew. Fire it well off. While our dragoons advance. Then fire it well on. Charge them into the Hindu warriors. New men slam your flank around hard. Eh, don't push into the defensive position just yet. Ooh, that quick climb is going to have woke them up. Advance our front. Household cavalry involved. Yeah, there we go. The front line is dissolved. My artillery to the rear engage the horsemen specifically. Just push my infantry up on one flank. Yeah, they're going to do some damage to my cavalry because I have run in front of their in front of their lines but I think it was worthwhile so you men advance up into their gun sights you men push the flank skirmishes push around even more Now it's just to engage the horsemen as well. Yeah, this is going to be a bit unsightly for them. These two units secure there. You two units push up around the flank as well. 
Watch out! They've got Hindu musketeers! Make sure these guys are on guard mode. You know, the cavalry unit's a bit stuffed because that's their general <laughs> That's their general unit. They, they don't want to do too much to them. The Albanian musketeers will get a handful of kills as they run through. Or well, the warband, I should say. This warband should get some good kills from routing troops. Well, there's, there's no need... Why let so many of my so many of my men die as well as theirs? Once that unit breaks, broken, lay every gun onto the twenty fourth regiment. You do not need to make sure they die. A victory on the field is worth is all we need. We don't need an overall win. Sorry, skirmishes. Yes. Another territory on the road to victory. So I'm hoping I can take Iqbarabad. End the turn. Then attack Udaipur. Because you're not in range. No. Pietro. So Videli Venturi. There's no point in repairing everything because there'll probably be a bunch of raids. Danielle, you're repairing. So if we attack with Nino against the city, we're only attacking the garrison and there's no one to stop us. So even though our force is a bit depleted... No, because you can't redeploy anymore. So let's take Nino, attack at Barabad, pump all the bejesus out of it, and then, yeah, we'll hit end turn, see what happens. Hopefully they don't try and engage us, and if they engage us in the field... I'm happy to retreat as long as we don't risk losing a city and then I'll take their last territory and that will be the end of the Mughal Empire which will be a great thing to have achieved by the end of this episode. But if we do get attacked in a way that I kind of have to fight in the end turn phase it's, then I'll end it there if I have to but I hope I, I'll hope I would not have to. So let's deploy our guns. So, obviously our assault brigade is going to be all of our guards and marines. I'm going to send my war bands up there as well to try and find exposed sections of wall. We're going to make one breach, send our three units against it, we're going to put a unit of Light Dragoons near the breach. Our Lancers and Curassier are also going to try flank. And Nino himself is going to hold by the Howitzers. So let's make a way in. I think I was too late for most of these shots, but there might be one gun that listened. Oh my god, even with one shot, still pretty darn good. So there's their... Oh, it looks like there's still a... Ooh, you with quicklime. What's the difference with you? Because look, that is... Why has that happened? So why have you got one... 100 extra range. That makes no damn sense, but I'll take it. So these two units. Quick climb men on the walls. You. Quick climb men at the rear. Cavalry's also getting shot at. But look at this. If we can knock out... or we'll knock a hole in this arm populace, that would be excellent. Once you've made our hole, we're going to start quick climbing the men that are trying to attempt to defend it. Garrison musketmen are up front. Okay, quick climb coming in. Miss. Oh no! I'm an idiot. 
No wonder they had extra range, because it was on, on round shot. They do have round range 600. We're about to make our hole. Ooh. One more shot. Come on, someone fire a gun late. Delicious. So then these guns... Focus on the men attempting to defend. We've got some, oh, some, still some good hits because they do have mortar crews that go all the way in here. So let's quick climb them. Quick climb them. Is, do we just leave it at one breach or do we put a few in in one area to try and draw more men in to defend? Short round. Got a few kills there. We do need to bombard them though. But the good thing is we have another army, so should Nino's force get... Ooh, are they firing on the centre organically? I think they are. Which is great. So they're going to start firing on the centre, in which case then I may as well make my all my howitzers focus on clearing out the breach somewhat. One last quick climb shot, tickling the edge. Yeah, there's definitely my field artillery's, foot artillery's definitely engaging them. So it's another volley. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take that. Still, there's some more shots coming in. The weird thing is, I think if I made them attack like that, they wouldn't do it. Let's speed up time a little bit, try thin out some of the defending formations a little bit more. I mean, at some point I'm going to have to switch to round shot and just start to... General's been taken out. So you hit them. To be honest, there's just a limit to who's nearby that can do that we can do damage to, but that's pretty darn conclusive. So let's take two of these units, switch to round shot, engage the artillery, make one of them keep quick climbing the center, and then push up our boys as aggressively as possible. Creep our skirmishes up. push up our cavalry as well because they've got a lot of mortars here they can do a lot of damage yeah my hope would be to try and get a unit of warband surreptitiously positioned okay I might have to change some of these guys tunes and make them make sure we do keep dropping quick lime on the center because we need to support our boys getting in there so the marines hold position near the gate line infantry guard scale marines scale marines scale Looks like they're going to charge. Which is good for us. We can engage them with volley fire. My dragoons can also fire. They'll welcome the practice. We've still got quick climb dropping on the sen in, on the um, in the uh, breach here. Yeah, there we go. Some units are going towards the. 
center. Go get them, Marines. They're quick climbing us. Still the artillery lands. Not a lot we can else you can do here apart from just keep trying to clear out the breach. Till eventually we can send enough men. Just keep blasting away in rather than throwing men at the wall. You men scale. So our marines are doing will do a good job at getting in here. A warband hidden, but let's try and see if we can sneak them up onto the wall. At least with these marines here, that will certainly help. They've pushed out from the breach, which is a silly decision for them. So we can now start to thin them out with musket fire and potentially cause a catastrophic loss. So you men get off the wall. Will both of these units try and get off the wall? Oh, they're brutal. They might cause a collapse of their own collapse of the wall, which would be pretty awesome. Try get a unit of lancers out wide, put our cuirassier somewhere a bit closer. We can start to snipe at their mortars once we've taken that section of the wall. Now's the time. Run our infantry in, but at the same time order our cavalry to attack, switch all of our howitzers to round shot the centre. Get our warband over here to try and secure this gate. Our marines have... we've taken the gatehouse here. They are going to knock down that section of the wall. Marines attack the armed populace. Line infantry guards advance. Still more brutal quick climb. They're killing more of their own men there. 44th Guards does not look up happy with what's going on. So I don't know why you guys aren't electing to advance along the wall. You're deciding to run down the wall along the floor at risk rather than simply running along the wall you're already up anyway you might have to attack the armed populace I need my warband to get up here so my cavalry can get in otherwise it becomes a bit more hazardous. Especially this. If you start quick climbing here, just run past. Don't fight, run. You've got mass, you can just push through them. Cavalry, particularly, I suppose. Let's get them running through. Starting to engage my warband. You guys to fire at will. You can put a volley into the armed populace, but they are going to charge up the wall. Get the cavalry through here. Yeah, quick climbing my cavalry. But if you guys secure the gate, in you get. Right when my other cavalry gets into the right position. 
There we go. Now you guys pretty much just take on all comers. Cease fire the artillery. So many dead armed populace here. They don't. What are you. Where are you guys going? We own the gate. Thank Christ we didn't depend on those cavalrymen getting in there. Attack the mortar garrison. Yeah, you're fighting the unpopulous. This light infantry guard unit is down to 18 men. Continue the attack. Then one unit would break through. You also get in here, start helping out. Like, look, I don't quite get why they decided, no, we need to run around the gate. It's like, no, we've got one. I'm going to keep my arm, my, uh -huh, my warband can cover that flank while my lancers and my cuirassier take out the other gunners. All of you against 17 armed populace, that's going to, shouldn't be quite as stretching as it is, but there we go. One gunner to kill. I think they're panicking a bit. Ah, this guy's not going to get here in time. We've captured the city, you damn fool. There we go. That's like Barabad secured, so it's only Eugene, which could be... Well, actually... So, okay, we lost a lot of men taking the city, but it is taken. I have a cunning plan. If I attack now with you guys, let's combine, because ultimately we're not short of troops. Oh, your colonial line. I see. It's the only actual colonial line we've got. We can push you men out of Ahmedabad without risk of upsetting the people. March to attack a diaper and bring in an army as reinforcements. So let's put their largest infantry contingents up front. Yeah, we can start to make some cavalry in. But there we go, we can do it. So we've marched, armies in close, I've launched an attack with a weaker force in order to draw in reinforcements and some of these units we're going to send to run away immediately. So let's attack Udaipur at the Rajputana. Yes, good, good, good. You don't need to, you don't necessarily need to attack with the armor you want, just get someone in close enough and call them in as reinforcements. Same result. Run your weak army away. And then you're in. So. So, so. I mean, obviously, they, they're they going to get reinforcements too. Oh my god. I thought this was an assault. Uh, well, I didn't read that properly. Doesn't really matter. What kind of matters? So, well, I might. I need, I need to deploy some units to protect my my little line. I anticipated it just being a. Okay, so I can take these three units, put them all here, and run. 
interestingly, we've got troops coming in right behind them, our marines. Just let our artillery open up and do its own thing. <laughs> you merely adopted the quick climb. I was born by it, molded by it. My gunners are being massacred. I'm not going to push. Look what I've got coming to help out. Form line here. I'm nailing in my cavalry. You guys can just form a line to engage the troops that are reinforcing. We've got marines here. To be honest, I mean, we've got to the point here, we don't really need these guys. Foot artillery, eh? Limber up and engage. Switch our artillery to round shot. Form square. Form square. Serpentine! Fundamentally, I can't really push in until I get some better troops into formation. You guys... Ooh, sugar. So this unit is going to kind of be executing its own guys a bit. take our troops bring them in but this unit is going to form rank to fire into the general's bodyguard break formation to attack the horsemen here for you sir human break formation and attack the dervishes the marines should do an okay job of holding off the holding off the dervishes for now Attack ground quick play might be a bit of a risky play. But I'm willing to give it a go. Attack the right place. We'll be just fine. I'm only going to fire one volley. They're quick climbing us, so we're going to drop a quick climb, some quick climb on them. Sorry, household cavalry. It was a risk I was willing to take. The e men engage the two fangy. Let's bring another unit here to engage the two fangy. Get one unit to make sure they form square. Hurrah! Cavalry pursue the routing enemy troops. My weak infantry attack the gunners. My three units here that are fairly good in terms of strength advance and be advanced and engage the enemy. Get our howitzers to form or to fire round shot into the enemy. You should see off the camel nomads. Fire at Will Horn actually. Who's that? The nomads are gone. Who's left? Dervishes. Break square. Charge the dervishes. You should be okay against the general's bodyguard for now at least. Everyone attack. Enemy mortars have been destroyed. Weak units. Form line. You men charge to the left as well. Their gunners have limbered up. There we go. And 
engage the garrison musketmen. There we go. There you've been knocked out. Relieve yourselves from square. Form up. So these two fangy should go down. The Islamic swordsmen are trickier, but once they fall as well... Get my general's bodyguard all the way over here towards the foot artillery. Okay, we've got one unit that's decided to come back. Engage one of them. Give you a unit of round shot. Give you a round shot. Let's group two round shots on the left, one on the right. Be all artillery engage the fire lock arm populace. All this melee infantry attack the swordsmen. My general's coming over to attack the guns. My marines are pouring fire into this unit of fire lock arm populace. Got this unit of garrison musketmen, which is not doing anything. You should be attacking the fire lock arm populace, but I don't think you are. I don't think any more. Uh, one of our units here routed, but we've got more where they came from. Yeah, but unsurprisingly, you did break. Let's make sure we get rid of the armed populace. The, the Islamic swordsmen, I should say. You're not doing anything useful, so let's deploy you against the armed populace. If they route before then, that'd be great. Okay, they've routed, so then let's form a line like so. Another unit of garrison musketmen coming in. It's weird that 24 pound of foot artillery hasn't got that much range. Not very well. You men withdraw. So spin you left. Let's run our weak line up to the rear. The Phylok on populace right there. They're routing. Pour fire into the 5th Dakil. Howitzers all engage the 3rd. Oh, and they're within quickline range as well. Although they have just fired, so it may take some time. Fortunately, they're giving us ample time to form our troops up to shoot them in the back. And they are the last unit on the field. It's a bit of a messy... Ah! Pivot! Howitzers, engage! Household cavalry, slam! Although I will... Watch the progress of the cavalry compared to them. Realistically, they're not going to get their shots off, so halt. So now it's just chasing down the men of the fifth. So advance you guys up to see if we can provoke them to move. These four weakened units are going to charge. This file our armed populace and support our household cavalry. Looks like they will not be moved. But a bunch of Italian coats, Italian red coated infantry charging up the hill to attack. There we go. Fall, you men. You are all that remains of a once proud faction. You are guarding the last of their territories. I know I'm charging men up into their firing position, but 
I was hoping we could get them to move off out of the away from the wall, but it looks like that will not be the case. Once we have them surrounded, they'll be annihilated, shattered. The fifth Dakili Garrison Musketman unit, the last unit on the field for their empire. Huzzah and hurrah. So now, what are we left with? What are we left with? Obviously we lost a bunch of men and a bunch of our units got combined. But watch as we... Hurrah! Where is it? Where is it? Oh, so it was... Oh, okay, because we had troops up here in their territory. Just, they've just been knocked back to the line. Okay, but spoiler alert. Eh. Let's get rid of some of this lower stuff. Tactical retreat. Okay, maybe it won't give us the the sign till afterwards, but you can definitely tell we have captured the territory because we've got... Um, we own everything. So let's repair the port. You men sail into Bombay. Let's begin. I'm, so for the sake of my head not exploding, um, I am preparing to send all of my troops up to a handful of zones. We don't need the most efficient passage of troops to the Americas because now we have conquered India. We have a ludicrous amount of armies. We've probably got more armies than there are re remaining territories to capture. So the steam dried up. To be honest, fifth rates two are not enough. We don't <laughs> produce as many sloops of war as you can. What have you got? Your two units short. Now you join them instead. You men are also going to push towards the new frontier. Like I said, it will take time to get the, the armies down here, but we don't need them to be quick to get to the front. We've got plenty to be getting on with, so right now... To be honest, I could just disband a bunch of them, but... Not gonna. I get a kick out of seeing all this amount of firepower on the map at once. And Rico Castro definitely wants to be moved up. Let's max out sloop production. On we go. Bring them all down south. They're all going to start bumping into each other. Doesn't really matter. I'm not going to get to use all of these Gurkhas anymore, so I may as well just get rid of them because we're going to... We are going to advance... So Badazari, Minicello, you're another army I want in the new war. So an army like this, Michel Contarini, he may he may see out the last of his days here. Now Nesto Defendi, you are destined for greater things, although it looks like they do not like you. But once you've repaired these happiness buildings, that won't be a matter. There won't be a factor. Obviously in Europe we've still got plenty of stuff that needs moving over, to be honest. Um, but the big thing is, what does the Americas look like? And as you can see, we now have the Iroquois are back, the Cherokee are back, and the United States are here. So let's move our armies up to the front. Give them no... Give them not no quarter, but no breathing space advance hell take a militia unit Boston's okay with us being here let's move you over to here my 
God, how do I optimize this? So you continue your march down to Louisiana. It's a pirate kingdom. I forgot about these guys for a few turns. Because last time one of our armies got cut to bits by a ambush. Now we can repair these buildings because we have no, no interest in knocking them down. So, declare war on the Iroquois. Absolutely. Let's put the cities under siege we want to take first. Because we don't have any... Well, we have got overwhelming superiority. Let's give them an order just to immediately run down towards the Candy Rebels. And up here against the US... We're going to declare war and move against Albany. Sorry, Diggory Talbot. Blitzkrieg is real. You get an order to push down to Annapolis. You get an order to push on to Williamsburg. We're not at war with Cherokee yet, but we're about to be. Push on. Hit Savannah. We've got a lot of battles to fight. <laughs> Go hit Charleston. Like I could sail. I might. I might do that. We've given or No, we've given orders for these guys to run down. But I could just do this. Sail you men up to Williamsburg. Attack their territory. Let's take our battle fleet south again. So what's probably going to happen is these guys are going to swarm and attack pretty much everyone else. You guys might actually march. <laughs> I am going to actually fight these battles. You men march east, because you're probably going to be put aboard ship Mario Torricelli. And probably land against Caracas to the south. You have an order to march. Oh, Vito Spero, back to New Orleans. I mean, I may as well declare war on the... Ooh, okay. March up to the border, because you're an ally of New Spain. Send you up to New Mexico. Send you to here. Outside of Pueblo Nation's territory, but close to a road that gets you to this bridge. So once we declare war, we can attack Villa de Berra and block off the road access to the town. I mean, you can repair, rebuild, and probably be, be launched against another territory Michele Luzato you men arm up and head towards Teleco and we've got another army up here Chio Manfredini you're probably going to sail down to here we're going to group up these three armies and land them at Caracas Bogota and Panama all at once, because you can see how once you bit, once you've knocked out the um, the Mughal Mughal Empire, how quickly con the continental U.S. will fall. Um, so you're about so you're you're going to push the hit Michigan territory. Well, let's start in the northeast and work our way down. So let's take Mr. Glumaldi and attack Albany. We're looking at the timer. I believe it's time to end the episode. So. Thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for a whole series of dominoes that is the, the war in the North Americas. Cheers everyone.